Bobby the Dog Now Alexander, a long time ago, before even Granny Helen and Grandpa Hugh were born, a sky terrier lived in a churchyard in Edinburgh. The terrier's name was Bobby, and the churchyard was called Grey Friars, so everybody called him Grey Friars Bobby. Bobby had a friend, a black cat called Frankie, and Bobby and Frankie had adventures around Edinburgh. They would go down to Princess Street to see all the hustle and bustle of all the people going to the shops. Frankie and Bobby enjoyed nothing more than dodging between the horses and carts. They would also go down the Royal Mile to Holyrood Palace and Holyrood Park, where they would chase the swans. They also would go to the market when the farmers came to Edinburgh with their cows and their sheep. Bobby and Frankie would help the farmers round them up. Alexander, can you see the sheep? Can you count the sheep? Can you see the cows? Can you count the cows? Do you see Bobby the dog and Frankie the cat? Everybody knew Bobby and Frankie and would say, Hello Bobby, hello Frankie, when they saw them in the, and in reply, Bobby would bark, woof, and Frankie would meow. One day, there was a commotion in the Royal Mile, and Bobby and Frankie went to see what was going on. Angus, the Highlander soldier, had run into a horse, and was sitting by the road feeling dizzy. Oh dear! Oh dear! Hello, Bobby. Hello, Frankie, groaned Angus. I've hurt myself, and I have to be at the castle in ten minutes. Bobby, I need your help, asked Angus. Can you help, Mimi? Bobby looked at Frankie, and Frankie looked back at Angus, and gave a bark, woof, and wagged his tail. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. Thanks, Frankie, said Angus. You see, every day at one o'clock a gun is fired at Edinburgh Castle, and it is my job to make sure that it is fired exactly on time. Now, it's up to you, and there's no time to waste. Bobby gave a bark, woof, and Frankie gave a meow, wow, and off they went up the Royal Mile, past the houses and the shops, and past St Giles Cathedral. Past the horses and carts, they ran fast as they could, with Bobby leading the way as they went into the castle. You could see all of Edinburgh from the castle, but Bobby and Frankie had no time to enjoy the view. There was only seconds to go, and the gun was in sight, and with a great leap Bobby jumped past all the visitors and the soldiers and fired the gun. Boom! The tourists and the soldiers cheered, and all the people of Edinburgh looked at their watches. It was exactly one o'clock. Bobby had done it! Bobby and Frankie had many more adventures. Bobby became the most famous dog in Scotland, and a statue of Bobby was built near his home at Greyfriars Churchyard. Today, visitors from all over the world come to Edinburgh to see the castle and hear the one o'clock gun and visit the statue of Greyfriars Bobby, the little dog who saved the day.